Hi guys, Mark here again. Well, this time we're going to really switch gears and you'll notice we're on a Windows computer and we have Internet Explorer running and we're on our official JW.org website. I thought we'd spend a few minutes here just going over the basics of how to use our new online library, which is a tremendous resource for us. Well, the way you get to that from our home page Notice these links up here about us news, publications, Bible teachings. We're going to click on publications and that will bring us to featured items and quite a few other links. But you notice the last link is online library and we're going to go to that. Now you notice what it does is, and your computer might be different, it actually opened up another window with the online library in it. So by default, when you open up your online library, you're going to be on the screen. You're going to see the daily text here. And you'll notice that every scripture reference is in blue, which means it's a hyperlink or text you can click on and do something with. So now if we hover over this last scripture, you'll notice what happens. A little window pops up and it actually shows you that scripture. Now there's a number of things you can do with this scripture reference. You'll notice there's some other blue links that are in this little box. The plus signs, what are those? Well those are cross references. So if I click that, it will show me the cross references to that scripture and you notice there are even more cross references. So if I click on that, it'll go to the next one and so on and so on. You can really get lost there. So we're going to go back and we're going to go back again. And then we're back to where we started. Something else you can do is once that pops up, <clears throat> if I come over here and then click on this link here, it's actually going to fire up the whole book of Ephesians with that scripture highlighted. Notice that. So now I'm actually into the whole Bible that's in the online library. So we're going to go back. And you'll notice something else. You see that asterisk right there? That's a footnote. So if I click on that, we see a footnote on that verse. And that applies to all of the scriptures that have footnotes. Now, if I don't hover over but click on it, it's going to do the same thing uh, as it happens if we click on it in the box. It's going to actually take you to that scripture in the context of the rest of the chapter there. So we're going to go back. And notice down at the bottom, this is the Watchtower article that this text is taken from. If you hover over it, it will pop up a little window with part of that article that the text is based on. If you click here, it's going to actually take you to that whole article it's taken from. You'll notice the part the text is based on is highlighted in blue. Now we're going to go back. So that's basically how you use that. So by default, this is what comes up on the home page. Now, how about some of these links here? Daily text, publication, the Bible. Well, we're not going to go into all of these right now, so this video doesn't get too long. But let's click on daily text. You would think, oh, I'm already looking at the daily text, but there's a difference. When you click on that, now look what you get. You get a little navigation bar here, so you can go to the previous day, or you can move forward a day, or you can go to today by clicking on that. And if you go away over here, it will click forward a week at a time. Click back a week at a time. Okay? This is basically the same text that we saw on the other screen. But notice you've also got the school schedule for the week. Hover over those links, it actually brings up Bible reading. It brings up the material for the number two talk. And 
and this is the article that's going to be considered during that week for the Watchtower site. So it actually brings up those up. It shows you what songs we're going to sing. And you can actually even bring the song up and see the lyrics for it. So we're going to go back. So that's what's on that page. So that gives you your, your little snapshot of the week. And you can do a lot of your study just based on this page. So that's it for this one. In a future video, we're going to get a little more into what else you can do in the online library. Bye for now.